Serious, what's a fact that just blows your mind? That the biggest bacteria species known, Thio margarita namibiensis can have a maximum diameter of 0.7 mm which is big enough for you to see it without a microscope. That's insane if you consider that your average bacteria species has a diameter of 0.001 mm. Picks or it didn't happen. A single cell next to a fruit fly, https colon slash slash www. Eureka alert. Or, images release underscore graphics, mpg nws 040999. JPEG. A woman once jumped off the 86th floor of the Empire State Building but the wind pushed her back and she fell on a ledge on the 85th floor. She survived. I've got this image stuck in my mind of an angry woman jumping out of each consecutive window only, to be blown back inside by the wind. Sounds like something from Wayside Stories. November 2, 2000 was the last time all humans were on the planet together. Since then at least one person has remained on the International Space Station. This is actually a really cool, fun fact. Can you imagine if aliens came to visit at this exact moment and found us, an alien species to them, living all over the green bits of our planet, and just a single one of them is in a fancy little spaceship doing laps in the sky over every, single other. They'd be so sure that single astronaut was definitely our leader on first glance. The V-2 rocket killed more people while actually making it than during WW2 when it was used. Also Pepsi once had the 6th largest army, navy in the world. But it still lost the cola wars. There is a termite colony in the Amazon rainforest that is the size of Great Britain and is almost 4,000 years old. There are also hundreds of millions of termite mounds. Ha! Huh. The Queen has been around longer. The U.S. government has an official for a zombie apocalypse. CONPLAN 8888 also known as Counter Zombie Dominance was written in 2011. And just in case you think it's weird bureaucratic humor, the first line reads, This plan was not actually designed as a joke. It's not a joke but it isn't supposed to be taken at face value either. It's an exercise for emergency planners in training. Obviously, the US government doesn't want to deal with political fallout from training planners with something, like Russia launches nukes. In addition, the plan helps people explore unexpected disasters so they can know how to adapt to a changing situation. Planning for fake stuff for fun is actually brilliant. No joke, reading the zombie survival guide in high school gave me some tips that would help in an earthquake or other natural disasters. There are about 100 times as many cells in a human body than there are stars in the Milky Way galaxy. The International Space Station is closer to the Earth than San Francisco is to L. A. Reminds me of humans in 2020 are closer in time to T. Rex than T. Rex to Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus roamed the Earth during the late Jurassic period between 156 and 144 million years ago. On the other hand, the Tyrannosaurus rex lived during the late Cretaceous period, about 67 to 65 million years ago. And Cleopatra was alive closer to today than she was to the construction of the pyramids in Giza. A neutron star is so dense that a teaspoon of material from one would weigh around 10 million tons. What would happen if you say that on the Earth's surface? It's so heavy and small would it just sink all the way down? It turns out that neutron stars are held together by the immense gravity of its constituent matter. If you somehow got a teaspoon of neutron star, it would explode. I don't know what the magnitude of such an explosion would be, but I'm guessing that you probably wouldn't want to be on this planet when it happens. Several thousand years ago, the Sahara was actually grassland with massive lakes that rival the Great Lakes of North America. Also, at one point the Strait of Gibraltar was closed. This meant that the Mediterranean Sea almost completely evaporated. The Mediterranean filled quickly when the ocean levels rose high enough to top the natural dam and created a huge waterfall. It supposedly happened hundreds of millions of years before people were around, but I've always wondered if we have the date wrong. If it happened much more recently it would explain all of the ancient flood myths that every civilization in that part of the world has. Low-lying land is warmer and during an ice age that would be prime real estate. As glaciers melt the sea rose and we get Noah and Gilgamesh. When the Mediterranean was dry it was largely a barren salt flat, not exactly prime real estate. 
that neutrinos of mass in every second of every day about a billion of them are going through every square inch of your body, but the space between your atoms is so huge there's pretty much a 0% chance they will ever hit you. K okay, but, what if they did hit me? Nothing, pretty much. That our galaxy and the Andromeda are going to collide a long, long time, long time from now to form Milkdromeda. That and that our universe will slowly die one day. There'll be no galaxies, no stars, no nebulae, nothing. It will all die out and leave noting but black holes and dwarf stars. And GT, that our galaxy and the Andromeda are going to collide a long, long time from now to form Milkdromeda. The mind-blowing fact is that nobody will notice. Galaxies are largely empty space, and the two will slowly drift through each other, and recombine in a swirl of gravitational pulls. We think. The sound made by the Krakatoa volcanic eruption in 1883 was so loud it ruptured eardrums of people, 40 miles away, traveled around the world four times, and was clearly heard 3,000 miles away. That's like you standing in New York and hearing a sound from San Francisco. People in Perth, Australia thought the noise was a cannon going off somewhere nearby. I still can't get over the fact that Teddy Roosevelt got shot and continued to give a three-hour speech. I'm just wondering what about the assassin? Oh, it didn't work. Well, I tried. Arctic foxes can survive temperatures as low as minus 70 degrees Celsius. That if you could fold a piece of paper 45 times, you could reach the moon. It's important to add in half. If the timeline of the universe was compressed into a year starting on New Year's Day, Homo sapiens would appear at 11.54 p.m. on December 31st. Well, it took us about 70,000 years to go from stone tools to settlements. It took us even more than that to learn how to fly. After we learned that we were on the moon in less than a century. The rate in which we develop technology is quite scary tbh. It's only a matter of time before we bite off more than we can chew. I find a piece in the fact that the men and women making today's massive advances in their fields, are wildly smarter than me. I also find it unnerving because what I don't understand can be used against me by the powers that be. Edit, shout out to you, Zaldrises for the private message of instead of shooting brown people why don't you, pick up a book. Stephen Hawking threw a party for time travelers but no one came. He should have held a party for time and space travelers instead. Some animal abilities are truly amazing to me. There's a type of lizard called the axolotl that can regenerate lost limbs in a matter of months. And there's also a jellyfish called the immortal jellyfish that is well, immortal. When they are attacked or when they get old, they can somehow revert to when they were babies and start growing up again. So, some animals can live without a head. A chicken once lived 18 headless months. And a turtle lived one. You might enjoy, the book of barely imagined beings really beautiful book about animals, inspired by Borges, book of imagined beings. The oldest living tree in the world Methuselah is 4851 years old. And the fifth oldest living thing, a cypress tree named the Senator, was burnt down by tweaker smoking crystal meth. The tenth president of the USA John Tyler, born in 1790 has two living grandsons. How? have a kid at 63 then that kid had another kids at 75. Add in the fact that the grandkids are around 90 years old. You just span 228 years in three generations. When something is in orbit that essentially means it is perpetually falling. But moving sideways fast enough to miss the planet every time. The secret of flying is to throw yourself at the ground and miss. That one guy who tried to assassinate Andrew Jackson. He had two guns and both of them jammed. Best part is that the Secret Service had to pull Jackson off the assassin because the latter was beating the former to death with a cane. Also, when they were checking the guns there was no problem that would jam the guns. Andrew Jackson is one crazy guy, so you could say the guns were scared of him lmaao. Ant biologists still don't know the maximum lifespan of most ant queens. They just live too long to keep track and they're not too easy to keep in captivity. The longest one on record is like 30 years old, and there could easily be species that live longer than that. How massive the solar system is compared to Earth. Not even regarding any other part of space just the solar system. It's insane. There's this website that shows the entire solar system lengthwise take the time to read everything in it while you scroll through and just take in the massive expansiveness of space. 
affect the way the human brain works. These cells that are powered by tiny jolts of electricity are collectively having conscious thoughts, coming up with morals and empathy in every human behavior. There used to be nine different species of humans. At least that is. Homo sapiens 2. Homo neanderthalensis 3. Homo floresiensis 4. Denisovans 5. Homo erectus 6. Homo habilis 7. Homo heidelbergensis 8. Homo rudolfensis 9. Homo rhodesiensis 10. Homo ergaster Those are all the members of the Homo family I can think of right now. However, it is important to remember that there are almost certainly some that I forgot to mention, and there might be some that we haven't discovered yet. Furthermore, it is surprisingly difficult to find out if the groups I've listed are distinct species, or different groups of the same species. This is actually a surprisingly interesting topic I would recommend you look into. My book recommendations if you are interested are, Sapiens, A Brief History of Humankind, and, Di Ray's Unserer Gene, Eine Geschichte über UNS und Unsere Vorfahren. Martin Luther King Jr. and Anne Frank were born in the same year. Also, that same year, Betty White was already, seven years old. Marilyn Monroe and Queen Elizabeth are the same age. Took more time to go from bronze swords to steel swords than steel swords to nuclear weapons in, less time from nukes to melting lasers that literally melt metal as seconds. Russia is bigger than Pluto. But is Uranus bigger than Russia? How a computer does what it does? Blows my mind how ones and zeros can do so much. Maybe I'm uneducated, but still mind-blowing. I tried to get a computer science major to explain it to me. I can usually understand complex topics if they are dumbed down, obviously not totally understand them, but at least the idea. I was able to understand that a combination of zeros and ones represents information, like the color of a pixel. But how the computer understands that it's supposed to interpret that as the color of a pixel, I just can't make that jump.